Hi guys, Wheelie here. I've been making Christmas stockings. So many Christmas stockings. I already have a couple of videos showing you how to make mini Christmas stockings and I have a couple more patterns that I'm working on. But today's video isn't so much a detailed tutorial as a chance for me to show you how you can use my patterns to make lots of different variations. I'm giving some of my Christmas stockings away tomorrow. So this is my last chance to show you all the different versions I've made so far. This bright green and white stocking is made to the same pattern as this sea green and fawn one. They've got a contrasting toe and heel and a simple single crochet top. If you like the look of these two, I've got a video on the pattern. I made a few changes with this stocking. I added a few stripes in and the toe and heel aren't the same color. It gives a different look. The top is slightly different too, but it's really easy. Hold two strands of yarn together, one of each color and crochet with them like they're one piece of yarn. It doesn't matter if they twist together a bit, that just gives a more interesting effect. Go up a hook size or a hook size and a half to accommodate the thickness of the yarn. I still work the top in single crochet, but I didn't slip stitch around the top and I didn't slip stitch along the loop, which is slightly different from the video. To turn the chain into a loop, I slip stitch to the first chain and then I finish single crocheting around the top. This dark purple one's for a friend who's starting to get goth leanings, but I couldn't resist adding some very bright purple in there so it wasn't too dark. It's Christmas after all. The body of this stocking is the same as the green one I just showed you, but you'll notice that the top of the stocking is a bit different. I love this, it gives such a pretty finish. Near the end of the video, I'll demonstrate how to finish your stockings with this pattern. This red, white and green stocking and this sea green, burgundy and fawn stocking are made with the same pattern. The stripes alternate between half double crochet and single crochet, and this stocking has a simple single crochet top. The video pattern for this style will be up very soon, so if you like the look of this, you'll be able to follow along with the video. Now for the variations. Until you get to the top, this very goth black and red striped one follows the same pattern. The top is where I've added a little interest. It's hard to see, being in black, but the top is alternating puff stitch and half double crochet. It gives such a nice puffy splayed out top. And if you can work a puff stitch, you can do it. I used a three yarn over puff stitch. So I pulled through seven loops to finish the stitch. For the loop, I held a strand of the black yarn with a strand of the red yarn, and I made a chain to hang it from, which I attached to the inside of the stocking. Here's another striped one. For this stocking, I didn't change color every round. I worked two rounds of half double crochet in one color and one round of single crochet in the other. So I have different width stripes to the original pattern, which gives a different look. I've also put a fan top on it for a pretty finish. This one is very similar. I did change yarn every round, but I didn't alternate between single crochet and half double crochet. All the stripes are the same thickness, half double crochet. I topped it with a pretty white fan. The loop is a little different too. I slip stitched along it three times, twice in blue and once in white, which gives this nice striped effect. This stocking is a solid color with a single crochet ribbed top that folds down. I have a video tutorial for this pattern, so if you like the style, you can follow along with the video. I made this one for my son and he wanted a sprig of holly. When I made it for him, I also made a video, so you can have a holly sprig on your stockings too. It's very stylized, but I like the simplicity. It does look very Christmassy. Now for the variations. You can see with this stocking, I've mixed and matched stripes with ribbing and a loop made from the two colors of yarn held together. This one is a special favorite because it's for the son of a friend. The whole family's favorite color is blue. So I made a pretty blue and white striped one for the mum, a dark blue for the dad, and this stocking for their boy is a combo of the two colors and styles, which is just very twee. Now this one is bigger. I can barely fit it in shot, but you can make this stocking with the video patterns. It's a combination of the contrasting toe and heel pattern with the ribbed top pattern. All I've done is go up to a 5.5 millimeter hook and hold two strands of DK yarn together for the whole stocking. This idea works particularly well if you're making stockings in team colors. I just went for red and green this time though, so go team Christmas. Back to a smaller one. If you have sharp eyes, you'll see the sock bit is made in single crochet rather than half double crochet. I found that the half double crochet style works better and I don't have the proportions quite right in this stocking but I couldn't resist showing you this one because look at the tiny bells. I just made the bells up as I went. There's no video for them, but I've written the pattern up on screen. I have a 10 minute Christmas bells video, 
They are significantly larger, but if you're looking at this written pattern and wondering what on earth it means, I suggest you watch the 10 minute Christmas bells video because the little bells are constructed in a very similar way. But if you are patient and would rather wait, let me know if you'd like a video. You can be my excuse to buy proper lighter weight yarn. I made my bells with DK cotton yarn and I used a 2.5 millimeter hook. Yes, it was fiddly. So if I make a video, I'll do it properly. But I won't make a video if nobody's that keen as I have so many other exciting ones planned. I hope I'm not being unkind showing you things that don't have patterns, but isn't this absolutely teeny stocking adorable? I made this last night when I was playing with a bit of yarn. I grossly underestimated how much yarn I'd need to make a burgundy striped stocking. All I got out of that bit of yarn, and it did have lots of knots in it which didn't help, was this teeny stocking. It's just about big enough to slip a little candy cane into, though it might topple over. If you do want the pattern, let me know. I could make it again to figure out what I did. From the smallest to the biggest. This is a full size stocking and the video for it will be up soon. For this stocking, I held two strands of yarn together. It creates this lovely effect, particularly because I used a variegated yarn for one strand. I'm finishing the stocking off with some applique hearts. I'm thinking of adding a few more before I call this finished. The top of the stocking is ribbed. Again, I used two strands of yarn held together. Can you see that there's some silver in the yarn I used? This stocking is for a friend's daughter and you can probably guess that she loves all things pink and sparkly. I just need to sew the last couple of appliques on and I can give it to her so she can hang it up in time for Santa's visit. Speaking of hanging it up, it does have a loop and I've made it a decent length. As well as the stocking video, there's a video for the hearts coming too. I came up with the hearts because the stocking looked a bit bare without them and traditional Christmas things were just the wrong colour. The middle of the hearts is worked with two pieces of yarn held together and then there's a single crochet border made with just one piece of yarn. For this one I used three colours so the middle stands out more and for this heart I just used two colours. I'll show you how to work the fan top for the mini stockings. All of my mini stocking patterns have a 20 stitch count round for the top of the stocking and the fan pattern fits that 20 stitch count round perfectly. So I've cut my yarn and attached my new colour. I show you how to do that in all of the stocking videos and I'm assuming that you can work half double crochet as all my stocking patterns demonstrate that stitch and use a lot of it in the body of the stocking. So by the time you're putting a top on the stocking, you'll be confident with it even if you aren't to start with. Skip the stitch that your yarn is attached to skip the next stitch and we're going to work seven half double crochets into this stitch here. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. See that's created a pretty fan. Now we're going to skip the next stitch and work a slip stitch in the one after. And skip the next stitch and work seven half double crochets into the one after. another pretty fan. We skip one and slip stitch in the next. And skip one and work a fan in the next. So seven half double crochets. That's our third fan. Skip a stitch and slip stitch. Skip a stitch and work seven half double crochets. That's the fourth fan. Skip a stitch and slip stitch. Skip a stitch and work seven half double crochets.
That's the fifth fan. We're back to the beginning. Skip a stitch and slip stitch into the first space, which is just here to the left of where we joined the yarn on, not here to the right of it. If you slip stitch into the first space, it will look a bit neater. Doesn't the fan top look pretty? You should have five fans, each separated by a slip stitch. You can finish off now by chaining one, cut your yarn, tighten up the chain one and sew in the tails. Ta-da! That is my full range of stockings for 2021. I hope it's given you some ideas for how to use the patterns to create some interesting stockings. I'm filling mine with goodies now. I love this bit, it's so much fun. I've got little hand creams, yummy mint chocolates, liqueur chocolates, more chocolates for the kids. And that's it for now. The others can wait until closer to Christmas Day. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, click like, subscribe if you want to catch my new videos, and I will see you next time. Bye.